In our germophobic society today, the role of soil microorganisms is often grossly misunderstood. To many of us, the only good bug is a dead bug. We joined Dr. Chris Nichols in Mandan, North Dakota to talk about why we need to change our thinking. We, we have this idea that microorganisms are bad. In reality, most of the organisms in the soil are beneficial. Um, most Even of, nematodes? Most of the nematodes that are in the soil are not pa plant pathogenic. Most of the nematodes that are in the soil are actually very good at helping with especially nitrogen cycling because they consume a lot of bacteria and when they consume that bacteria, um, part of the waste they give off is higher in nitrogen. So it actually is an important role in the system yes. when you have these levels of diversity of organisms. So when an organism becomes bad, it becomes bad because its population is out of control. That diversity helps to keep populations in check. So in the soil, predator and prey relationships are very important. And every organism is, is either eating another organism or being eaten. <laughs> there are types of fungi that um, actually they'll kill nematodes. Um, and you have fungi that actually will kill microarthropods. Um, so, you know, even the smaller organisms are able to attack some of the larger organisms. And like I said, then that keeps the, the diversity in the populations in check so that you don't get a population out of control and it doesn't become bad. Okay. <laughs> so, so it's really important for us to try and work on, on that level of diversity. And a lot of the things that stimulate that level of diversity are the diversity in our crop rotations or okay. diversity above ground. Um, there's a lot of research that shows that diversity above ground is sort of equated or even masked by diversity below ground. So that diversity above ground, what it does is it provides different foods for different organisms because that organic matter, the materials that's inside the plant, have different carbon and nitrogen ratios. And because there's different carbon and nitrogen ratios, it's a different type of food. It's, I, I sometimes talk about, you know, if you do a single crop, a continuous crop, it's kind of like giving the soil the donut diet because you're feeding it the same thing over and over and over and over again. And so the only organisms that are able to grow and repopulate are the same organisms okay. that are feeding off of that. Yes, yes. Whereas when you have that diversity, there are different organisms that, that become players in the system.